Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you about geometric sequences. So, imagine we have the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. We've been asked to find the nth term. So, to find the nth term for a geometric sequence, we have to find the common ratio or distance. So, the way in which we get from 2 to 4 is multiplying by 2. And that just so happens to be the way in which we get from 4 to 8, and 8 to 16, and 16 to 32. So we're going to say the common ratio is 2 multiplied, at least times 2. So we can write that into our equation, which I'm about to tell you, which is u1r to the power of n minus 1. So we know that r is well, r is positive 2, and we know that u1, our first term, is 2 because 2 is the first term of the sequence. So what we're going to do now is write down 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of n minus 1. And look at that. It's complete. That is like really all you have to do. That is why I love geometric sequences. They are so easy. But on my GCSE, I happen to not know this formula, and I tried to use the arithmetic formula, which is very bad. This is just a reminder, do not use this. You will not get it, the answer. Do not use it. Okay, uh, we're done with that little rent. We're going to go back to this. So, uh, that's basically all you have to do. You can try it out by doing 2 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which to find the first term, because n as 1 would give us the first term. That is a 2, not a z. <laughs> so, 2 times... 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which give us 2 times 2 to the power of 0, and as we know, anything to the power of 0 equals 1, so 2 times 1 equals 2, which gives us the first term. So we're going to try that again, in this little space I've isolated, so we can try 2 times 2 to the power of 2 minus 1, which gives us 2 to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the power of 1, which is 2, so 2 times 2, which equals 4. Well, 2 times 2 to the power of 1. They're both to the power of 1, so it doesn't really matter. So we can try that once more. 2 times 2 to the power of 3 minus 1, which gives us 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 minus 1. 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 equals 2 to the power of 2, which equals 4. So 2 times 2 squared, which equals 2 times 4, which happens to equal Eight. There we are. So, as you can see, the sequence is being fulfilled, and all you have to really remember is the formula for finding a geometric sequence, which I will make very large now, which is u1 multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1, where again un is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n minus 1 is just what you put there. So you can you can simplify that further to have a number here, but we're not going to do that because that just complicates things, and that's basically all you need to know. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have improved your mathematical skills or, you know, had help reviewing this concept, whatever. You know, I hope you like math. <laughs> that's about it. Goodbye.